10 signs that you need hormone replacement therapy. Hormones are responsible for not only our energy and motivation, but also our mood. We have three hormones, testosterone, estradiol, and progesterone. And as we age, those drop. And when they do, uh, many, many things happen. But getting your hormones up and balanced is gonna help your health and your quality of life. If at the end of the day, you come home from work and you just wanna be a couch potato, you don't have the motivation that you used to have, maybe you used to get up in the morning and take a walk or work out and you just can't get out of bed, or you're not sleeping well. So that fatigue is a big indicator that your hormone levels have dropped or they're unbalanced. If you're having, let's say, mood swings, or you're finding yourself more irritable, even anxious, um, maybe anxiety that you've never had before. Many people experience even depression. That's a big indicator as well. Maybe you're not interested in sex anymore. So your libido drops and you're wondering, what's wrong with me? Why would I rather read a book than be with my partner? Especially people who have been married a long time and have enjoyed a wonderful relationship and all of a sudden you're just not in the mood. If you're finding yourself uh, unable to sleep or fall asleep, maybe you're okay with falling asleep, but then all of a sudden at three in the morning, you wake up and your brain is racing and you can't go back to sleep and you're struggling. So we need that estrogen and progesterone to relax us and to really signal our brain that it's time to sleep, you know, to get a good eight hours of solid sleep. may find that all of a sudden you're unable to lose weight or you're gaining weight, especially around the middle area in places you've never had it before. You're not changing what you're eating. You might even be working out and not seeing any response. You need to have that estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone back to levels you had when you were younger so that you can once again have some energy and also make sure that your body composition remains intact. Without good hormone levels, we lose muscle. And when we lose muscle, what replaces that is body fat. Hot flashes and night sweats. You can have those for years. Um, many women have them up into their 70s and 80s and they suffer and there's no need to suffer. You can just replace your hormones and those go away. If you're struggling to come up with a friend's name, um, maybe you're telling a story and you can't remember the end of it. Uh, perhaps you can't remember where you parked your car or you can't find your car keys. Uh, this is a big sign that your neurotransmitters are not firing on all cylinders. And that's very common because we need hormones for the brain as well as the body. And there's actually a study, a published study on this that a neuroscientist did on uh, women's brains as they go through menopause. She actually did MRIs on the brain and has shown that the neurotransmitter activity really dies out as you go through menopause. The conclusion of that study is actually that it's very preventative of dementia and Alzheimer's. In the brain, the neurotransmitters do not connect in certain areas, but getting your hormones up and balanced is going to help those neurotransmitters uh, reconnect and fire on all cylinders. So we talked about weight gain and the fact that, you know, when you have good muscle mass, it's you're burning more calories and you're less likely to gain weight. But we need muscle also as we age because it's protective. I mean, we have to be able to go up and down the stairs. We have to do tasks. We have, you know, we want to maintain that muscle so we can maintain the ability to enjoy life and to do the sports and activities that we love. So uh, hormone replacement is a great way to protect yourself as you age and to keep those muscles strong so you can enjoy all your favorite things. Maybe your hair is thinning and you're wondering, what's going on here we need estrogen for that so we need estrogen not only for our hair but for our skin 
Uh, if you've noticed your skin is drier and your hair is thinner, that's a big sign that your estrogen levels are dropping or maybe they're gone and you need to get that replaced so that you can maintain your skin and your hair as you, we don't, you know, we want to look as good as we can for as long as we can, right? So those are two different things. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about joint pain first. Maybe your knees are hurting, a hip, even just all over joint pain. We actually have gel in our joints when we're young. As our hormone levels drop, that gel dries up a lot and we get more bone on bone, more pain. So if you're experiencing unexplained joint pain or maybe you have arthritis but it's gotten worse, much of that joint pain is going to disappear. You may still have arthritis or whatever caused the joint pain in the beginning but it certainly helps with the pain. And then moving on to the bone density. This is super important, especially women who have gone through menopause their bone density really is affected by this. So without good hormone levels, we lose bone. It's just that simple. In many women, it will develop into uh, osteopenia or, and or osteoporosis eventually with hormone replacement is that it actually prevents it. And even people who've already been diagnosed with osteopenia and or osteoporosis will find that their bone density improves from hormone replacement. So a great reason because you're protecting yourself, you're protecting your bone density, and you're even repairing it if you've already lost some bone. So if you are experiencing any of these signs, if you're fatigued, if you've lost your libido, if you're waking up at night, if you're suffering from hot flashes, weight gain, leave us a comment. Let us know your experience and we will get back to you. We definitely are here to help and we want to hear from you. So I hope you all have a great week and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.